everyone welcome to this new episode of crypto street crypto street is a weekly show where i give you latest crypto news crypto trends and also we look at a lot of interesting charts that we can trade whether you are a seasoned investor or someone new in crypto this show is for everyone and i hope you join me every week into this exciting journey of crypto let's begin today's show Hong Kong's largest virtual bank to act as a settlement bank for crypto exchanges. The city's largest virtual bank, ZA Bank in Hong Kong, is currently enabling fiat and cryptocurrency transfers while offering services to city's expanding digital asset industry. According to a recent report, ZA will facilitate withdrawals for clients in Hong Kong, China, as well as in U.S. currencies. This will be done after they deposit crypto assets into exchanges. Therefore, ZA will be serving as a settlement bank. G7 to discuss priority crypto CBDC standards in May 2023. Japan's Top currency diplomat Masato Kanda recently revealed that G7 nations will be helping developing countries to introduce central bank digital currencies in tandem with international standards. The G7 is an intergovernmental organization consisting of a group of seven of the world's advanced economies, that is Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, and the United States. The G7 summit is all set to held from 19 to 21st November in Japan's Hiroshima city. Hi everyone, welcome to Bitcoin Gem channel. I hope you all are doing great. This is a new one minute video on Bitcoin 28,100. This is currently a very important price point as long as Bitcoin is above it. You will see bullish momentum this week. First target would be 28,900. Second target would be 29,600. As you can see, we have hit both the targets of our one minute analysis. And Bitcoin Gem one minute analysis is for everyone. I update it every Monday. And I've been doing this for almost 18 months now. And if you go and check every Bitcoin analysis of one minute video, you will realize that we have been 100% on target every time. So do not miss the Bitcoin gem one minute analysis that I upload every Monday. It gives you a direction of Bitcoin and the overall crypto market in a way. So we are currently looking at Bitcoin dominance and Bitcoin dominance is right now breaking out of this important zone which was previous resistance. You can see over here we have been enjoying the alt seasons for last two years whenever we have seen any altcoin rush in the market it's due to Bitcoin dominance falling down and it has been falling down out of this zone at 48 to 49 percent and it has been a two-year resistance we can very clearly see over here multiple resistances multiple resistances and this time it is breaking out whether this breakout will sustain or not we'll have to see few more days but if it does sustain and if it keeps going higher then alts will bleed against bitcoin and what that means is when bitcoin is pumping alts will bleed or not pump as high as bitcoin but when bitcoin dumps or bitcoin corrects alts will dump harder so the only way alts will pump is if we see bitcoin dominance coming down again back into this zone and heading towards this mid range or the low range that's how your alt bank will pump but if it continues to go higher, then the alts will bleed against Bitcoin. And when Bitcoin corrects, alts will correct harder. So if you are trading alts, then you need to be careful about Bitcoin dominance. 
if you are looking to accumulate alts i think you will love this because you will get an opportunity to buy alts at a very cheaper price and bitcoin will act as your gps let's look at bitcoin and we are looking at bitcoin daily chart and these are two most important support and resistance for bitcoin in my opinion in the next few weeks or few months the most important support right now for bitcoin is 25600 it took uh, almost one year or 10 months to break out of this zone and it is currently very important zone in my opinion as long as we consolidate above it the overall momentum uh, for bitcoin i expect to be bullish considering that we consolidate about 25600 on all major time frames so even if we go down if we have a wick we should immediately get support and bounce back up is what i am saying if we don't go down below 25600 that'll be even more bullish but 25600 is currently most important support and 31600 is what i am expecting if at all we go higher than 30k then this is this has to be the first important huge resistance zone or a breakout zone for bitcoin so as long as bitcoin is below 31600 it will likely come down and retest 25600 in my opinion but once we start getting daily closes above 31600 we are going for 35300 so the important most important resistance for now is 31600 most important support for now is 25600 for bitcoin in my opinion on the daily time frame on higher time frames so these are the ranges for bitcoin right now 25600 31600 35300 and 22500 this is where i see bitcoin ranging in the few weeks so i'll keep you updated about this in the next week in the next episode but if you're trading alts if you're trading uh bitcoin it's very important to keep an eye on bitcoin as well as bitcoin dominance now let's look at two altcoins that were requested in the last video and you if you have any altcoin request that you want me to analyze do comment down below and i will make sure i analyze a few in the next video so the first altcoin was jasmine jasmine is currently in a consolidation mode and it has broken an important resistance and now it is flipping it into support which is at 0.0053 to 0.0044 as long as jasmine consolidates in this range or above this range it is likely to continue for a higher price in the future so a consolidation about this is bullish and as long as we do that i see it ultimately going for retest of 0.008 to 0.0095 we can already see it retesting once in february but then it was a very harsh rejection and since then it has been consolidating in this zone so this is a very important zone to consolidate and if you're looking to add some i think adding in this zone would be a very good buy zone in my opinion so as long as we hold this as support we are likely to retest this but if at all we start getting daily closing below 0.004 then that would be very bearish and i in my opinion we will go for the retest of this low or we might even make a new low so that's jasmine for you the second chart that was requested was vra again a very similar uh price action where it is consolidating above very important support which is between 0.006 and 0.0045 this region is very important and you can see once we broke this region over here we went all the way for a low of 0.002 so consolidating above it and we are consolidating above support and as long as we do that i expect a continuation higher and ultimately going for the retest of 0.016 so 15 cents to around 19 cent reach sorry 
one and half cent to around two cent region would be the ultimate target for VRA right now. The only condition is we hold this as support. But if at all we lose this, then again, just like Jasmine, it will go for the retest of the recent low or might even create a new low. So very important for VRA to hold 0 0.006 to 0 0.0045 as support. And as long as we do that, I see eventually we going higher when we are done with this Bitcoin dominance and Bitcoin movement. So these were the two alts. Which two alts do you want me to analyze? Comment down below and I will do it in the next week's analysis. Thank you.